Let's take a look at this problem taken from the 2015 Indian National Mathematical Olympiad. It says, find all functions f mapping a set of real numbers to itself such that f of x squared plus y times f of x equals x times f of x plus y. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is quite an easy functional equations problem because we do not have even have to introduce a lot of very um, complicated techniques to to get this done. The first few steps that I'm going to do actually involve only only involve zeros. So the first thing I would do is to simply put x and y to be both zero. Then I will have. f of 0 plus 0 times f of 0 I do not need this bracket actually equal 0 times f of 0 then we know that f of 0 is simply 0 so now we can freely put in any zeros we want and see what we'll have the next thing I will do is to put y equals 0, then f of x squared, okay, the y of y times f of x will vanish. So f of x squared equals x times f of x. Now this is very important because left hand side is kind of an even function, but right hand side is not. So I would replace x by minus x. And then we'll have f of x squared equals minus x f of minus x. So therefore, f of minus x equals minus f of x. Which means f is odd. So f is an odd function. Now given that f is odd, then we can try replace y by f of minus x and see what we'll get. f of x squared minus x times f of x will equal to x times f of x minus x equals 0. So now we have f of another term that is being 0. Or I can rewrite this as f of x squared because we have already established this so now we have something else that's equal to 0 if this x squared minus f of x squared is non-zero then we have two numbers being equal to 0 and it's actually quite reasonable for us to guess that the constant function of f always equal to 0 could be a solution and in fact it works so we can try go towards that direction so now let x squared minus f of x squared equal some a okay then we have f of a we can write f of a equal zero now if this a is non-zero then I can simply put x equals a and y equals 0 will give f of a squared plus 0 times something that is, it will just vanish equals a times f of a plus a plus y or actually I do not need y equals 0 I can simply put x equals a and then the other term will already vanish so let's go back here a squared plus y f of a equals a times f of a plus y so this thing will equal to 0 and so we don't even need y to be 0 to make this vanish so f of a squared equals a times f of a plus y 
and we know that f of a squared actually equals to a f of a from the red star equation a f of a so we know that left hand side is actually zero as well now we have f of a plus y to be zero so because y is arbitrary i i do not care whether a is fixed or not given that y is arbitrary the left hand side is already arbitrary this term is already arbitrary so this will already this can already tell us that we we have the constant function okay therefore f of x equals 0 is a solution. We'll check later. Now, otherwise, we've, we've only achieved this because we have assumed that a is not equal to 0. So now, if a equals 0, then f of x squared equals x squared. And so we'll know that f of x equals to x or minus x, but we because we know that well, f of x equals x when x is not negative and we know that because x is odd because sorry f is odd we know that it can be extended to f of x equal x equals x is another solution so we have two two solutions now we check them so when f of x equals zero left hand side is simply zero and right hand side of course equals zero as well take when f of x is x left hand side equals x squared plus xy while right hand side equals also x times x plus y which is also x squared plus xy again take so these two are indeed solutions so yeah we are done i hope you enjoyed the video Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.